Ireland's second round, Donegal, Callan, Donegal, we're here in the team hotel, busy day, team has been announced. Uh, you're in the team for England and you're going to be winning your 85th cap. Great day for you? Yeah, hugely. I suppose um, one of the guys in the room, like most of them, that get a huge kick when you're named in the team. And uh, I suppose the tingles that you got when your first cap and you were named out don't change. And massive honour uh, and especially in, uh, a big week, England in, in Twickenham and uh, Paddy's Day. So I suppose... Um, we have great memories of going there before, maybe winning the Grand Slam with Shane Horgan's trying the f in the corner, and you remember stuff like that, and you you try to uh, get back and taste that type of uh, uh, special days again. And you have a new second row partner in Dunica Ryan. How is that? You're you're packing down with with somebody other than Paul O'Connell for w for once in a long time. Yeah, I suppose people uh, to me it's not all that new. I train with Dunica every day. You know, he he'd be in my centre in Cork along with Mick O'Driscoll. So. Um, yeah, I suppose it's great. I think, uh, to be fair to Donica, he hasn't tried to uh, imitate anyone. Or he's brought uh, what he brings, and uh, he's been brilliant at it. And I suppose his man of the match performance just show how well he's been going over the last few months. And uh, it's great for uh, for for me anyway, definitely to have competition in place as it makes a performer. And the loss of, of of leaders in terms of Brian and Paul, there was a lot made of that at the start of the the championship, but. Uh, I mean, fellas have really stood up, haven't they? Yeah, we're lucky with the guys we have in our dressing room. We're lucky to have the likes of Rory Best. And uh, then when you go down, the y you guys like Jamie and Sean O'Brien, who just uh, who talk sense the whole time and take a bit of weight off him, and guys like Stephen Ferris. When you get international uh, at the international level, I suppose the biggest thing is that everyone looks after their own job, and uh, I think that's the case. Um, no one wants to be any extra weight for Rory to deal with, and if everyone performs to the best of their ability, and uh, it makes his job an awful lot easier and just leaves Rory worry about himself. That's an uh, ideal situation. But I don't want to take away from going without, Ro or going without Paulie and Draco. They're uh, massive guys that uh, bring an awful lot to our team. So they're huge losses. But to be fair, guys are stepping up and, and uh, taking a bit of slack. Uh, the Ireland team were getting uh, a little bit of uh, grief, I suppose you might th say, from the, from the media at the start of the championship about our attack. But we've scored 13 tries more than any other team in the championship. So was it a case of you guys just believing in yourselves and, and backing yourselves to do what you know you knew was within you? Yeah, I suppose, uh, I'll be honest, it wasn't just the media as well. It was the players who were disappointed with how we were attacking. And I think, to be fair, no, it's, Im it's improved an awful lot. I suppose the biggest thing is that it's not improved enough to get us a championship, and that's what you think about. You know, it's uh, you know, I wonder will we, you know, regret the first 20 minutes against Wales and, you know, the second half in, in France? Will they be disappointed come the end of this championship? So it's uh, it's to make sure that we go out on Saturday and and play the right type of rugby as well. Sometimes you don't have to to play all the ball if it's on to kick and take the pressure off um, you know th th there's there's other ways to get win games but we're certainly happy with how we're attacking and uh, I think everyone's taken a bit more ownership of it which is always hugely important. And on a lighter note you're you're famed for having um, a few pre-game quirks and, and uh, things that you like to do in terms of cleaning your boots and, and that type of thing is there anything particular you do before playing England? No, there's nothing different. Uh, I suppose uh, there's always a few more calls and a few more text messages from people that you hold close. I suppose if uh, if there's a game, there's an awful lot of people who want you to win. It's the English game, and and that's the case. You probably your phone will be an awful lot busier. But it's a uh, it's a massive game, and you know this team knows the pride that the country holds it in. And uh, when we perform, we know the lift that the the country gets. And on a bank holiday weekend, it'd be great to send the people off on a bit of a high and just have people a little bit happier maybe going on to the local for a few points after watching the Irish team doing well. Donica, thanks very much and good luck on Saturday. Remember, fair play.